Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be uh, describing how a uh, drum brake system works. And uh, like um, uh, disc brakes, there's two different kinds. And uh, the two different kinds of drum brakes are called uh, duo servo and uh, leading trailing. Now if you're just wondering how uh, drum brakes work in general, basically you have these parts right here which are known as the brake shoes. And they're inside a drum that is covered over all this. And these shoes basically spread out and they uh, come in contact against the rotating drum. So when these shoes come out and contact it, like the pads contact the rotor, it stops it from turning. And this uh, drum rotates with the wheel and stops it from uh, turning. Now, uh, what's the difference between duo servo and uh, leading trailing? Is uh, basically in a duo servo, uh, when you uh, right here actually first you have the uh, wheel cylinder that's where the uh, fluid comes in from the brake line and these little pins on it spread out and engage those brake shoes and what's different is uh, <clears throat> first the uh, wheel cylinder engages the front shoe known as a primary shoe and that shoe starts to rotate with the drum and then that force is uh, transferred into the adjusting screw here and then into the secondary shoe and uh, then the secondary shoe starts rotating with the vehicle as well but eventually the force when it's rotating overcomes this wheel cylinder and that little pin there actually goes back in but this anchor pin up here stops that from rotating and uh, so because of that uh, the secondary shoe actually does most of the braking in duo servo uh, because it cannot transfer the energy so this front shoe is transferring some of that energy through the, the brake adjusting screw into the secondary shoe. So secondary shoe is getting some energy down here at the bottom, but it stops up here at the anchor pin and does braking in the rear. Uh, then over here you have leading trailing, and these are has a lot of similar parts. Like uh, for example, these are the uh, hold down springs. And uh, again, you have the leading shoe and the uh, or the primary shoe and the trailing one or the secondary shoe. Uh, in this, the wheel cylinder up there, again, it engages it, and the uh, front shoe does most of the braking in this one. And uh, the second shoe doesn't really do much of it. Down here, you have an anchor pin that stops that. So unlike this one, that primary shoe can transfer that energy through this adjuster screw and that adjuster screw rotates with it but this is a solid anchor pin like the anchor pin up here this one's down at the bottom so because this is the front shoe and it's rotating this way it's getting most of that energy and it does most of the braking and this anchor pin stops it and this shoe just does a little bit when it's in reverse it works the opposite same with this when that all works in reverse that all does the opposite and these primary and secondary switch on both sides uh, some of the uh, advantages of the uh, difference between the two is uh, duo servos are stronger and those are usually on trucks so if you get like a, a Silverado a F-150 the rears that have rear drum brakes they'll probably most likely have duo servo especially in big trucks like uh, tractor trailers or some of the big box trucks and uh, Leading trailing are cheaper, so those are in cars. So light cars uh, like the Chevy Cruze or a Ford Focus or a Accord or a Corolla, those will have those because uh, in a front wheel drive it doesn't really do much of the braking, only about probably 20% in the rear. So you just need cheap drum brakes, which is why they use the drum brakes over the disc brakes because they're cheaper. Uh, some of the ways to spot the difference between them, if you can see in my picture, the wheel cylinder here is a little bit farther down, not all the way at the top, but over here the wheel cylinder is at the very tip of the shoes. So that's one way to uh, spot the difference. Other than that, a lot of it is the same. Also again, the anchor pin. You have an anchor pin down here, whereas over here it's up top. You have that brake adjuster screw. This is the one too that because it adjusts it, once your shoes uh, get um, worn in a little bit, you got to adjust this to thread it back out to get in contact with the drum because if it's too far in because your, your shoe is being worn it won't do the braking as good so you got to adjust it to spread those out more and that's uh, pretty much it on drum brakes thanks for watching and please subscribe